Good morning, welcome back to another episode of the vlog. It's early in the morning here in Mallorca and I am at the Repsol garage outside Uke in the, the mountains in Mallorca, um, up near the top of Sacalabra. So today, today is the big day of my, my uh, trip out here. I have been wanting to ride Sacalabra for some time. It's one of the most highly rated roads for cycling. It's definitely a bucket list cycle. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited about that. Now, I did sort of cheat in that I uh, I got the, the cycle shuttle up to the top here um, rather than riding up to the top. I did that for a number of reasons. One, like I say, I'm on a family holiday so I can't be away all day long. Um, so I do need to try and get back by lunchtime. Um, number two, uh, it can get quite busy up here uh, in the afternoons so I wanted to get up before a lot of the traffic. Um, number three, the roads have been closed recently so I wasn't sure if um, the road would be open. And finally, I didn't think I would have the legs to cycle from Port Clenza up to the top, down the climb, down the to the bottom, back up the climb and home again. So I wanted to make sure that I actually want to enjoy it. So um, today's ride could be quite daunting. Basically, I'm at, I have uh, about maybe five, 600 feet to climb um, before I get to the actual top of Sacalabra. From the top of Sacalabra, it is going to be about 2,400 feet down to sea level um, and then back up again. Um, and then down to Porta Palenza. So yeah, let's uh, let's go, and I'll see you on Sacalabra. Okay, that epic climb, that epic road was literally just the road to get to the famous road. Um, so it's now, I can see the sign 12 kilometers, so what's that? Uh, seven miles down. Um, so we're currently about 2,400 feet of elevation and we'll go down to sea level at Sac Calabra. Um, the road is actually Calderas is the name of the, the climb, name of the road, but um, Sac Calabra is the village at the bottom. So. Uh, I'm going to try not to stop too much on the way down and take photos, that's why I got the, the 360 camera. But uh, I might have to stop at a couple of points, but uh, about seven-ish miles of descending. Uh, switchback after switchback, should be good fun. Uh, and hopefully I stay upright. Um, it's definitely noticeably colder up in the mountains than it is down by the coast. Uh, as well as that, in the kind of in the shade and um, it's early in the morning as well, so it is definitely going to be cooler, which is why I've got the arm warmers, um, buff, gilet, everything on. I did forget my gloves though, and my hands are freezing, but uh, sure, it'll be good. It's a bucket list road, so uh, yeah, let's give it a go. I didn't realise I had uh, another two and a half k to climb <laughs> before it descend. Whew. I didn't realise back there there was another two and a half k to climb before I got to the top of the Calder race. So now I am at 2400 feet with uh, all the settings to go. Enjoy guys! So yeah, 
2400 feet of a descent, uh, five or six miles. Uh, so now I get to relax a bit. Unbelievable. It's like a roller coaster. I got stuck behind a couple of cars, so couldn't really let loose, but that's maybe for the best. <laughs> okay, that was possibly one of the most epic descents I have ever done in my life. That was unbelievable. It was actually like a roller coaster, like legitimately like being on a roller coaster, just swooping down the 270 degree of thingy, whatever, unbelievable. Um, yeah, just absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, bit annoying that I got stuck behind a car for so long, uh, but also maybe for the best because it meant that I didn't completely let loose and go bonkers on the descent. Um, but yeah, that was really, really good fun. Um, I'm assuming probably most of you who follow my channel um, are aware at least of Sacalabra and the Calderas um, descent and climb and that sort of thing. But for those of you that aren't, um, Yes, it is a six mile, 2400 feet descent from up in the mountains down to sea level to this little village, Sacalabra, port to Sacalabra. But it's also a dead end. 
and the only way to get out is to go back up the 2400 feet six mile long climb and that's what I'm gonna do now so uh, that took me like maybe 10 minutes to come down I suspect it's gonna take me an hour to go back up uh, but yeah I like climbing uh, you know I enjoy climbing um, uh, so it should be it should still be good to go up not quite as fun probably type 2 fun but uh, yeah I'm gonna gonna take it easy and just uh, spin my way up as best I can uh, and hopefully not take longer than an hour. The only way is up and I am <laughs> in this false gear already. Oh my word. And we are 9.5 kilometers, 7%.
Okay, so I've made it right back up to the uh, the aqueduct at the top of Sacalabra, at the top of Calderas, and my uh, my battery on my Insta360 X3 has gone flat with all the footage that I took, um, which hopefully you'll see in this vlog up till now. So I'm going to end the, the vlog here because I don't have a camera to shoot the rest of my ride on, uh, my descents on. I'm not going to get this camera out while I'm descending um, or riding because it's just too uh, too sketchy. Um, so from here I have a short descent and then a little climb back up to the garage at Luc and there from there I have uh, two different ways that I can go home but I think I'm going to take the road straight down to Porta Plensa. So I guess my uh, my top tips for anybody thinking about riding Sacalabra, um, number one do it, absolutely do it. Uh, is it as epic as everybody makes out? Is it as incredible as everybody makes out? 100%, uh, even more so. Just when you come over the top of the Calder Reyes and start to go down Sac Calabra, that, uh, that view you get right away, and just an end of that descent, unbelievable. Um, number two, uh, I would recommend doing it early in the morning, as early as you can. That's for a, a few reasons. Um, one is that uh, it will not be too hot, so if you're here in the summer um, it could get very hot very quickly. Um, so if you, if you do it early in the day it will not be too hot. Number two is the, uh, the traffic. I, I get stuck behind a car on the way down for a bit. Um, I was still doing like 35-40 miles an hour but I got stuck behind a car going down. Um, but it was just one car. As the day goes on, closer to lunchtime into the afternoon, it gets busier and busier. So um, it's kind of important that you, you do it early in the morning so you're not going to get stuck behind traffic on the way down or on the way up. Um, so yeah, I would recommend doing it as early in the morning as you can. Either ride out here early um, and do it or uh, do as I did and get the, get the shuttle. Um, the reason I did that as well was because I didn't think I would have the legs to, to ride out. Tip number three bring warm layers with you especially if you're doing it early in the morning and this time of year april time when you're descending it is cold uh, especially when you're in the shadow and um, so yeah bring bring layers with you to uh, to make sure that you're you're warm enough in the descent uh, that leads me on to tip number four take your layers off at the bottom uh, before you start climbing uh, because you will warm up on the climb uh, so yeah, that was that was brilliant. Um, I don't know how long that took me. I think it probably took me about 45, 50 minutes or so. Um, I did stop a couple of times to take some layers off, take some photos, that sort of thing. So uh, tip number five, if you're taking photos, stop and take your photos and stuff on the way down uh, because stopping on the way back up, um, either to take off layers or to take photos, is much harder to get started again. Brilliant ride, highly recommend it. Um, as always guys, thank you for watching, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please hit like, leave me a comment, ask me any questions you have about riding Mallorca or Sacalabra climb or anything like that, um, and don't forget to subscribe, I'd really love it if you subscribed, um, again I'm getting closer to that 1000 subscribers mark, so that would be brilliant. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be Cap de Formentor.